And we're here with Grandmaster Wesley, so who completed an amazing comeback today against Lanier Dominguez. You needed to go plus four, you went plus five, but tell me, going into the day, what did you rate your chances? Well, better than the previous day. I mean, the previous day I was down thir 13 points, so basically I thought with the weird scoring system, 5-4-3-2, which I really didn't like that much, I figured that my chances are kind of almost impossible to win. But then... I told myself I didn't want to just resign all my games. I want to put up a good fight because that's what we're here for. And that's what, as a professional player, that's what we should do in every game, in every tournament that we decide to participate in. Even when chances are hopeless, we just got to uh, give our best. And, you know, yesterday I got six points more than him. So I was down seven today. I figured plus four out of 12 games is doable but it's gonna be real difficult <clears throat> but then i think i won my first game and then i won four games out of five so i figured i was doing better than my opponent and i think he's not having particularly a great day and in this kind of tournament where one game just spits out after the other uh it's very hard to come back after after losing a game. It's very easy to snowball and lose games in a row. It happened to me in Paris. So I have some experience with this. I guess in the wide world of career, it all kind of evens out. But the fight got so intense today. They moved you to the other side of the room. Did you feel like a kid in school who got in trouble? No, not, not really. It doesn't matter where they put us, you know. I mean, <laughs> they can put us outside the room and we'll still play Blitz there. But they moved us because we fig they figured we're the noisiest players out of all. But we, you know, I mean, if I feel kind of sorry for Magnus and Ding because they're playing a slower time. But it wasn't our decision to put them in the same room and they could have moved other players to a different room. So I didn't, it didn't really bother me that much, you know. I mean, I have a goal here, which is to, to win the match and everything else is, uh, is secondary. And I, at the end of the day, when you're only a few seconds left on the clock, you're not thinking really how hard you press the clock. You know, you just want to press the clock as fast as possible to get the opponent's time start running. And uh, we got to do what, what we got to do because in the first few, in the first two days of this match, I, I lost kind of four games because I was down on time. When we're both under a minute, he just beats me every single time. So I think you were ahead most of the games today, but going back to game 10 and talking about you got to do what you got to do, did you even know that you were bleeding in the middle of the game? I mean, the guy had two queens and you only had one, so you really had to try something there. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I didn't realize that I was bleeding the game. I noticed there was some blood on the clock, but I was wondering where it came from. I thought it was, it came from, must have came from Lanier, you know, it's always the opponent's fault. <laughs> but yeah, I was totally lost in that game. But I decided, you know, he was down on time. I think I was up by two minutes. He had like 30 seconds or something. So I figured I play a few more moves and he, and, uh, he should have won the game. But, but in Blitz game, you know, with, with no increment. Of course, with increment, he would just beat me easily. But without the increment, things are a different matter. And as long as you got a single pawn, you can flag your opponent. And I think uh, in time control like this, flagging is... Uh, totally acceptable thing to do you know it's part of the part of the game you know i mean both players agreed to play without increments so you know it's kind of unethical to flag but it's uh, it's part of the match absolutely and final question speaking of increment you're about to play a speed chess championship match yeah. against the world champion on november 18th how yeah. will you prepare for the match and what do you rate your chances well you know my chances probably aren't very high i i don't consider myself to be a blitz or a bullet player by all means in fact i play chess online very minimal i only play when i have to because i figured most of the important events are still classical time you know like i have london coming up i have the uh, waikanze coming up so i af after that chess dragon blitz match i won't be playing blitz for for quite a while i mean blitz is a totally different ball game and that chess.com blitz match is different from this sh sh show 
<laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> I don't want to hurt your finger. <laughs> I'll, I'll choose you next year, yeah, for my opponent. Oh, yeah, 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 man, much easier. <laughs> <huh>? <laughs> but, but yeah, so saying, you know, this year, almost all my tournaments have a different time control. You know, some tournaments don't have increment until move 60. Some tournaments don't have increment starting move one. Some tournaments start move 40. Some don't have increment at all. Some have delay. So it's it's kind of confusing to me. I think personally, I would prefer if most chess tournaments have similar time control as what FIDE is doing to its tournaments. Because it's like the, if you play basketball in the NBA and they change the shot clock from 24 to 30 to 12, it's a completely different ball game. And this, my match with Magnus is going to be different from here because it's going to be played online. So I'll be doing some practice on, on chess.com. You know, there are some, some top of, tough opponents there. In fact, before coming here, that was my main source of practice. But I realized it's a different ball game too because when you're playing online, you can see everything from a mini screen or mini board. But here, you're playing in a big chess board. Um, so I wouldn't rate my chances that highly, but because I'm playing Magnus and he was just very fast. But I'll definitely, again, I won't give up and I'll just do my best and fight hard every game. And who, who knows, you know, no one really knows what the future. Well, uh, you know, good luck in your preparation for the match. And if you bleed on your mouse, you have to clean it up this time, okay? <laughs> well, I'll have all the time in the world to, to clean up things. <laughs> We're looking forward to it. Congratulations again. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> Thanks.